Hello guys, this is Byrex on YouTube bringing you another uh, item over here. The nice little logo over here. The package. The package I'm opening today. It's gonna be the first player back series Kale Black switch with Kale Black switches. Um, looking around again, the box. Nice little uh, logo, and then the first player wording right here. And again, top gaming gear at the bottom. Nice uh, first player logos all around the box. There you go, their website from firstplayer.com. Got a nice little logo on the box. I love this logo. And I noticed actually there's a first player in the, in there itself. I just noticed that being that this is like my second um, product that I see. Um, I didn't, they didn't send me this. I bought this because I hear a lot of good stuff about, uh, about uh, their keyboard. So I thought I would try, uh, try, try and see how they, right, they go. Let's get this open and right. see what we have over here. Oh wow, hey look, it's a spider. <laughs> Again, nice little boxing. Ooh, this is nice. I got the mechanical keyboard here. I got the LED version, because obviously I, the place where I'm at, it's a little dark, so I needed the LED version, as opposed to the normal non-LED version. So let's see, yeah. look we have a nice black box, mechanical wording, this it's all the graphics is awesome, you can actually feel it, it has like some texture to the, to the graphics over here. And again, first player keyboard, let's get back, in the back you'll find all the specs on the, on the, on the, on the switches I assume, yeah. These are all the specs. Alright, so let's see what we have in the box. Uh, one thing I did miss is uh, another graphic of the box itself. Now that is a nice graphics. <laughs> I would just keep the box because of this too. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see again. We have. Um, let's see what we have in here. We have. Uh, yeah, this is the the user manual. Now to go, I give you information about the switch type, how it's, what's, uh, how's it made, and uh, well, not how it's made, but you know what's it made of. I would say how to use it. Instructions for the lighting, connecting, installation, and all that good stuff. So you're gonna take a Quick read of that. Let's put this out of the way. Let's see what else we have. We had these cars that I, I don't exactly know what they are, but I'm assuming it's what uh, describing the keyboard itself. So we have mechanical, anti ghosting, feasibility, amazing, heavy loading. Uh, I'm not sure how this exactly pertains to the keyboard, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, well, it's, it is amazing so far that I can that I can uh, lift it because it's it felt pretty somewhat heavy I would say but then again I only had like uh, let's say I had the K75 RGB and I had the right now I have the G910 uh, my daily drive my daily driver I would say other than that I just had the Cytex uh, Cyborg um, Cytex Cyborg um, keyboard before I think now it's a uh, mad cat I believe if I'm, if I'm not mistaken 
Got a nice little puller over here as an accessory, which is a nice little touch to it. I wish my G910 came with one of these. Had a little tough time taking the keys off from that keyboard, but yeah, nice touch to it. Alright, see the keyboard itself. Yeah. Wow. Got some uh, nice get some nice weight to it. Not too heavy but not too light either, so doing great so far. Oh wow. Nice it's silver, black plastic all around. You got that uh got that tough look to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. Nice little got a tough look to it. So in the back, not much there. Just some uh, cable management on the side here. Some feet, not nah, some rubber rubberized feet as well, so they don't they don't slip. And also one one nice little touch to it. Uh, this is a nice little. The cable is braided, so that's that's cool. Again, going back to my G910, I wish that cable was braided, but no. I paid like 200 bucks for that keyboard and it wasn't braided. So this, this is a nice touch that I do like it, the cable braiding. Well guys, well, continue, continuing on from my uh, unboxing. Uh, this is a little review, I would say. Uh, well, as, as I said earlier, it's really, it's, it feels really well made, it's heavy. Uh, plastic, I mean, it's plastic, but still, I mean, it's, it has, the whole keyboard itself has a, a really nice weight to it. Uh, as far as the lighting goes, uh, it's not as bright as I would like it, but I mean, it's enough for where, where this keyboard is going to be used. All, it's, it's part of my uh, backup uh, server computer. I've used it for like a little bit over, um, uh, I want to say a little bit over a week now. Uh, as far as, I mean... I don't really have much experience with mechanical keyboards. Um, my first keyboard was an, <laughs> uh, an HP um, HP mem membrane keyboard. And then from there, I went to um, what was it? I believe it was um, Cytec Cyborg uh, keyboard, gaming keyboard. I believe the version uh, version seven or something like that. I mean, that's again, it's I don't. I believe that was a mechanical keyboard that was that was much more of a membrane keyboard and then from there I went to the Logitech G910 which again it's uh, it's a different type of switch um, it has a nice I like it, a nice little feel to it but it's not as loud I would say um, and as far as this it is I it, it is somewhat weird for me because it has a weird feel to it uh, uh, it has some noise to it, eh, but it doesn't bother me as much. It is it's saying uh, the the keys itself are normal, um, unlike my G910, which have those weird curved keys all over the place. But I do did enjoy using this keyboard. Um, as far as uh, as far as changing colors, uh, changing modes, it's really simple. No, well, not colors. I mean, change the light. Um, the modes are really simple. All you have to do is there's an F uh, a function key on the on the keyboard itself. So all you do is do, uh, press that button, hold it, and then press the M button. And I'll either um, change this is a, a different mode, which is breathing mode. And then if you want to change the speed of it, all you have to do again go to F N and then plus or minus at the top here. So you want to make it faster. There you go. Even more faster. That's as far, uh, as fast as it will go, and then if you want to, if you want to go slower again, all you do is press the minus key right here, and then it will slow the breathing effect. Again, we go to back to the function key. We can go to M, change the change the mode again, and this will have like a little. Uh, it's not a ripple effect. It's more like a key uh, lighting per key when you type it. And then again, let's go to the next mode. And again, this is the the inverse of what it was from the last mode. And then again, you can change the the speed of it. Let's go a little slow to see if we can do that. 
I mean, it doesn't really change the speed of that, but I mean, it's good enough for that. Let's go to the next mode. Uh, where is it? I just lost the ammo key. Now this is the ripple effect. This I, uh, this this mode I really like. And then we can now uh, let's see where we can. let's go. Let's uh, let's see if we can change the the speed of it. Mm, no, you can't. Mm, I don't see you can change the speed of it. Oh yeah, you can see. <laughs> it's really fast, but I would prefer a little slower. So you can actually see the ripple effect. And let's see. And this <laughs> it's a little like sneaky, <laughs> I would say. Rage again, you can change the speed of it. But I would uh, I would like I, I my my favorite one from this would be the ripple effect. The ripple effect I really enjoy. Uh, unfortunately it, it only has a white color. It doesn't have any other colors. But if you want a different colors, I would definitely look at the, I believe, uh, Fire Dancing Keyboard, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, or Fire Rolls, I believe. We get a quick look at that, see if I can get that for you. Alright, so, I mean, it's a nice, overall it's a nice, solid feel keyboard. It, does, it doesn't feel cheap. I mean, uh, there we go. And like I was saying, this, uh, this keyboard, unfortunately, it's not RGB. It's just white color. Uh, there are other keyboards, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they do uh, have different colors. Uh, but I uh, don't take my word for it. I'm not too sure about that. I have to uh, do a little research on that. But yeah, I mean, uh, I've been using it. It's a nice uh, uh, keyboard. My my only little complaint, I would say, the brightness uh, the keyboard. Um, I mean, it could be a little higher, but it's fine. Uh, although the the, uh, the one thing I did notice is the keys on the keyboard itself, they're a little weird. Um, they're not exa exactly normal font, I would say. But uh, that's not a, that's, I wouldn't say that's a big complaint. Uh, again, for the function keys, you have uh, you have one function key. Uh, you There's a home button, there's a lock button. And there's other functions, I believe it's uh, cal to open a calculator and shortcuts. Uh, there is a plus and minus button here for your volume. On the bottom right here, you also you, you also get, uh, again, a function key you can lock for uh, to uh, for your Windows key to lock it. Other than that, I mean, it's a, it's a, and then I did forgot to mention there is uh, media keys on the top. Again, with the function key, you can use that. Um, it's a nice keyboard. Uh, I mean, they didn't. They, I, they, they did a pretty good job on this one. Can't. Uh, don't have many complaints. Um, the only complaint that I did have was that. Um, but it's not a huge thing that would that would uh, let me to believe I nobody else should buy it or something. I like would. That. Uh, I would recommend this for uh, these keyboards. I would say for entry level gamers. Uh, I believe, uh, and also this was. Uh, this is the. Black Hill switches, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, pretty good keyboard. The first player has done a wonderful job on making these, and aside from the mat as well, as you can check out the, I made a little video on this uh, large uh, mouse pad as well, if you want to take a look at it. I'll link the, uh, the video in the description. But yeah, I mean, can't say, uh, let's see. Nice little keyboard. <laughs> and then, uh, I do like the little sign over here. I forgot from which game. Uh, I don't want to say the wrong, uh, wrong uh, game and uh, get crucified or something. <laughs> so I'll just leave it at that. It reminds me of a game that I seen before, but I just can't can't uh, remember the name right now. But yeah, if you wanna get one of these, uh, just visit. Uh, I believe it's FirstPlayer.com if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, firstplayer.com. Take a look at their products. There's uh, some awesome, uh, awesome fans. 
Uh, and I, I, I did hear it again. I saw them in, on their uh, website that they are planning to get some power supplies to the U.S. market as well. I'm very excited about that because I and uh, right now I do I have enough power supplies, but I just need an upgrade for one of my systems. So I, if they do come to the market on the U.S., I would be uh, acquiring one of them to see how they are. They they look pretty nice. Again, if you want to take a look at their products. You can visit them at uh, firstplayer.com. That's one uh, stplayer.com. So, yeah.